During the winter, when the leaves have fallen and your flowers have faded, if you want to brighten up your garden, you can do that by attracting birds. And one of the things that I like to do to attract a wide array and variety of birds is to mix my own seed. I add about 10 to 20 different ingredients in the seed blend, and I have found in my own garden that I have attracted everything from the pileated woodpeckers to cardinals to nuthatches to titmouses to slate-colored juncos, just, and many, many more. And what I usually do is I take a variety of different seeds, and the bulk of the mix is made up of the black oil uh, sunflower, and I take about three quarters of this material, and I pour it into a pan. To that, I add about 25% of the striped sunflower. You can then add a mixture of sunflower hearts, canary seed, uh, three or four different types of millet, and thistle seed, and you don't need much. You just need a small amount, even less than this is uh, sufficient. To that, I add peanut hearts. You might want to add lettuce seed, or cabbage, or broccoli seed, or mustard seed. I even add teasel and lettuce. All of these things help attract a wide variety of birds. Poppy seed, sesame seed, are just a few of the other ingredients. Then peanuts. And then sunflower chips and thistle seed again. And then finally, I add different types of fruit. And in this case, I'm going to add some raisins. Once you're done, you mix this up. But again, keep in mind, these added ingredients, you only need a total of about two cups maximum for about a five gallon bucket of seed. So it's really not expensive. In addition to the special seed blend that you've created, it's also important to have a wide variety of bird feeders. And this is a flat feeder. You can even build this yourself in your own garage. And I like to keep it about four feet tall. And this is great for cardinals and blue jays and nuthatches and titmouses, and even uh, doves. They love to be on a flat feeder. Another type of feeder is a long feeder for some of the smaller birds. And then you can even have a thistle feeder, like you see here. And then behind me, I have a sewer feeder for the woodpeckers and some of your other birds. In addition to having a multiple number of feeders in the small area, I do place other bird feeders throughout the garden. And that helps get rid of territorial disputes for birds like mockingbirds that like to keep other birds away. By having other feeders, you can eliminate that problem. I'm Mark Viette. Join me next time in the garden. For more garden tips, use the internet to click on the In the Garden website. That's inthegardenradio.com.